Well, an estimated 40,000 pets die each year in house fires, most of them because of inhaling smoke. But the Tucson Fire Department now has equipment they hope can reduce that number. Just this week, firefighters were able to save this pup after he had been lifeless for 15 minutes. Not knowing his name, they called him Lucky. But as Nine in Your Side's Christina Myers reports, it's more than luck that saved this dog. When firefighters get to a scene like this, the top priority is always getting people out safely. But a big reason people run back into a burning building like this is to try and save their pets. As soon as we get on scene, if you can communicate to the firefighters that you have an animal inside, Believe me, that is a priority for us as well. So we will go in there and do our best to get the animals out. But once they're out, that's when the real work begins. Many animals are unresponsive from smoke inhalation, like this bull mastiff pulled from a burning house in January. It was struggling. Uh, just, you know, barely agonal type of breathing, and our firefighters were able to deliver that oxygen. And again, slowly but surely, you could see life coming back into the, the dog. That task made easier by a donation to the department, now brought to every full alarm fire in the city. Oxygen masks designed specifically for animals. Take a look at these side by side. Here's your normal human oxygen mask, and then here's one for a pet. The major difference is the size and shape, so this gives a tighter seal around a pet's nose and mouth. More oxygen more quickly means a higher rate of survival, and saving a family's pet can bring some comfort to people watching everything they own go up in flames. When you have had to speak with somebody that's gone through that, and then you can come out with an animal, you know, it turns that absolute look of desperation and exasperation into maybe a little smile. Christina Myers, KGUN 9, on your side.